as of today, Kling's 2.1 engine now supports the uh, start and end frame, which has always been a really cool feature of Kling, but the 1.6 output has always been a bit limited. I'm gonna show you an example that they actually put here in their release notes for this, and um, a big difference. So say this one right here where you've got an athlete running and then like, you know, kind of like a space figure. Um, in the 1.6, you'd see it would kind of glitch here and kind of hold back a little, and... Um, then it would eventually transition. So it was okay, but room for improvement. Check out what 2.1 did with the same inputs. Has them running and nice and smooth and fluid. And that is cinema quality. That is great special effects, even to draw the little, you know, kind of speed lines coming off the back of them. So that's the difference here. So I'm really excited about this. So what I'm going to do is a first reaction video for you guys today. I'm Brian, half of the Creative AI Show, where we're two creative guys talking AI, putting up videos on YouTube every single day of us using tools like this, showing off all the latest releases and playing with these tools and kind of giving our first reaction. So uh, if you haven't liked and subscribed yet, please do. So all right, I'm going to show you what I did with this today. We're actually going to make Make one together and then I want to go over the few that I did. So I did a good classic um, age morph one right here with Christian Bale. Um, I did a video of a band rocking out, a mythical creature, and then we're going to make a scary one together. So let's do one together here. So we're first of all on Kling 2.1. All right, I got my images already with Rev. We're going to do kind of a scary Easter Bunny thing. So I took an image that I already had and then I actually, what's great about Rev is you can grab an image that you've already got. You can click on it and then say, what would you like to change? So then you can give a little prompt to it and then have kind of the next image of the scene. So that way you have two scenes that are pretty accurate and together for this Kling engine. Um, so uh, what I did there is, um, you know, so I've got a scary scene coming up with some Easter bunnies. And uh, so let's build this one together. So let's go here. Um, I downloaded the ones that I want. So I'm gonna click upload. I wanna start with this bunny kind of standing up and eating this um, bloody chocolate Easter Bunny, so it's a little bit of cannibalism, a little bit of weirdness going on here today, but that's fine. Um, you know, we're starting to look at the end of summer here. We got the Halloween season coming up. So I'm going to keep, I'm going to let the engine do its thing and kind of give minimal prompting. So in some of my previous videos, I've had some really long prompts. Actually, my last one I did a few days ago, I actually tested a short prompt, a medium prompt versus a long prompt, and Kling tends to do well with a little less is more. So um, I'm going to say, show the bunny. Um, making a scary face and then bending down to munch munch on the bloody chocolate bunny so show the bunny making a scary face and a munch on the chocolate. Okay, so one output, just a five second one. We're in professional mode. It's gonna cost me 35 credits, not too bad, but this is pl plowing through some of my cling credits, but very worth it because it's been probably some of the best cling technology I've seen to date. So first of all, those very famous age morph videos, this is a really good tool for that because you've got a beginning frame and an end frame. And if you wanted to show, say a celebrity, how they aged over even more time, all you have to do is have many different ones of these videos and put them together in a master video to where your end frame of the first video then becomes the start frame of the next one and you can show how somebody ages over time so a little bit of a hack there um, but check this out really really super high quality here for Christian Bale so that's how we started and look at the eyes and the eyebrows they remain exactly the same and right together his hair's flowing nicely in the breeze the transition goes from one to the next perfectly the beard kind of you know grows on his face a little bit um, I think this absolutely nails the uh, age morph videos. Um, I think it looks super good. I'm giving it an A+. Plus. It's 10 out of 10. Let me know what you think in the comments here. Um, and even the last image I gave wasn't even that good, and it kind of upscaled the image. Look, when I click here, when I paused at the end, it, that was like kind of what the last image is, and it wasn't really that good. Um, and it kind of upscaled the image for me. I was really happy with that. Let me see if I can get it. Nah, I'm not getting it, but that's all right. All right, let's keep moving. Um, so this one I did is kind of like a band performance video where I had a band that was performing on a rooftop. I didn't realize that the second image that I gave it was actually a band with a drummer where the first one didn't. So it actually went with it perfectly. Um, this guy's making some rock moves. You can kind of see a little bit of distortion on his face. That's really my only drawback is this guy looks a little funny. And it added some sound and everything too, because that's what Kling's doing. The drummer, his drumsticks, I just noticed, look a little funny. And this other guitar player also looks a little weird. Bass player's looking pretty good. Bass amps look good. 
Um, the performance of this lead singer, I think, looks fantastic. So I'm going to give this one like a B plus. Um, but, you know, if this was something quickly in a music video or something like that, I think you could almost get away with it. It's kind of cool. Um, so I would say out of all the outputs I did, that one's probably the weakest. Um, all right, this one I really like. So I did this kind of mystical, um, kind of uh, like a deer with wings kind of creature. And um, I gave it the direction to have this deer thing kind of bow and then take off and flap its wings. And then I wanted some magic dust. It did everything. It did all the things. And even, you know, both scenes, um, they went from, you know, kind of uh, a little bit darker in the beginning to lighter at the end. I was wondering how it would do with that. And uh, I think it did a great job. This one looks awesome. And that creature definitely looks realistic. And, uh, well, you know, for a fantasy creature. But its motions are good. Um, I mean, I'm really, really enjoying so far Kling 2.1's start to end frame. I think it looks great. All right, let's see if the one that we tried to make in the beginning of the video is ready. It's ready for us. All right, let's do a first reaction on this one. All right, guys, if you're going to be a little scared of bloody, bloody uh, bunnies, we might want to look away. Oh, it's perfect. Oh, it's so good. Oh, I love it. So we this could definitely be something out of a horror movie. Oh, it's great. Um, there, there's so much you could do with this. I mean, you know, the bunny changed from one kind of bunny to another here throughout, but the, you know, the rest of the bunny's face was so believable and distracting that you don't even really notice that. So, um, really this could be a cool kind of horror movie scene that you have, you know, uh, based on a, uh, a, you know, carnivorous, um, Easter bunny, more like actually a, um, a cannibalistic Easter bunny because it's eating a chocolate bunny. So, all right, guys, cling 2.1, start to end frames, in my opinion, absolutely nailed it. I would love to know your thoughts in the comments. Please like and subscribe if you haven't yet. I'm definitely going to be talking with Rosh about this on Monday um, on the Creative AI Show. So that's our podcast we do every Monday. We talk 20, 30 minutes about all the latest releases, latest news in the world of AI and how we're using it to help our clients and, um, you know, our kind of our own creative endeavors. Um, yeah, if you haven't liked and subscribed yet, please do. Um, until then, we are two creative guys talking AI.